Yo, what up? It's your boy Giovanni, and you listen to the best damn podcast, Culture Pop Radio. You already know what it is. Hey, what up, guys? It's Julie Ram Speaker, and who we got in the building today? Giovanni. Giovanni, first of all, thank you so much for dropping by today. Thank I have you for having me. Dying to have you on for a while. I'm excited. I'm excited too. So I got a lot to be. Matter of fact, I feel like we have so much to catch up on. Yes. Because there's been such a a, a gap in your career, and now you've come back. Yeah. And you're releasing music. Yeah. And we're getting the best of the best because I, I was listening to your early work, and I always felt weird listening to it because you were a kid. Yeah. yeah. I was like, oh, I don't think this is appropriate for me. <laughs> <laughs> this is for the children. Low key, I hate that music. By the way. No. Really? No. Yeah. no now, but you're a grown man now. Yeah, yeah. So now you're making that grown man music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is where we we can actually talk and relate a little bit more. Facts. Exactly. Facts. So let's get into that video and your new single. Yeah. Mill on that. Mill so let's on talk that. about it. Um, Mill on that is actually the first record I recorded after I got out of this the terrible deal I was on. Okay, so how long? So this is an older track than that you're just uh, releasing. No, I actually just got out like recently. Like it just fin. Oh yeah, wow! Yeah, yeah, yeah. This this year, I want to say it just finished. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I felt like, I thought like it was like over a while ago. So I'm no, like so definitely. It was just like you know. I mean, you know, a lot of things happen. Right. Uh, this so it happened a second time actually. Wow. Yeah. So I was never really actually out of wow. the deal. Yeah. yeah. Damn. So, um, I officially like got out of all of that you right. know BS, and then now I'm actually completely free. Yeah, because now you, you, I feel like you can kind of tell in your music because it's a lot more like vibey and stuff like that. Yeah. Not that your earlier work wasn't vibey, obviously it wasn't. you was young, but <laughs> you said it wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> but you can definitely tell like the confidence level you take in charge yeah, yeah. in your music because we're going to get into that in a little bit is definitely, definitely there. So I'm excited to see what we're going to have going forward. Thank you. But who came up with the concept of the Wolf of R&B? Because we're going to get into that whole concept. Like, well, the, it, actually, it actually came from. Uh, the video, like we didn't know we wanted to do with a video, oh, wow. and I was just sitting there, and I was just, while I was talking to the director, I'm like, "Yo, I don't want it to be just like a regular R and B video." I'm, right. I'm already saying I could put a mill on that, like right. it's kind of like the obvious topic, what you think, uh, just all this right. extra stuff. Um, and then we just kind of came up with the idea, like, "Yo, let's do Wolf of Wall Street." I'm from New York, um, exactly. And then it just worked out with R and B, you know. Exactly. <laughs> I was about to say, how does that make you feel as an artist? Because I felt like it's such a statement to make when you're like, "I'm the Wolf of R and B. I'm coming for you guys." I'm coming for everybody. <laughs> He's like, I'm on your neck. Facts. I'm on your neck. Everybody. Man. Everybody got a problem. Uh, uh, hey, listen. Say it with your chest, man. Hey, I'm talking that shit. It. Come on. <laughs> uh, it's just, I just feel like a lot of unfortunate situations yeah. happened uh, throughout my career, mm -hmm. um, and now that I'm completely free and I'm able to do whatever I want and make whatever kind of music I want and I'm not kind of like being held back by anything a lot of people got a lot of problems out here man well I'm, they about I'm, to for sure because I know that your earlier work it was definitely compared to like a younger Chris Brown yeah, yeah. and now I feel like I can't compare you to Chris Brown anymore because I feel like this is who you are as yeah. an artist so there's really no comparison anymore this is like Giovanni this is me, this is who I am. Yeah. There's no comparison anymore. So I definitely enjoy that you're making this type of music. That kind of that kind of feels good to hear. I've never heard no, that. No, seriously, because <laughs> I was like, I can't say he's like a young Chris Brown. This is literally just him. Yeah, yeah. So it's like kind of tough. Like, because usually I'll find somebody, whatever artist that I'm having on the show, I'm like, oh, you sound like this person, but you don't. You sound like yourself. Wow. Like, so it's a good thing. So yeah, it's yeah. definitely a good thing. So let's talk a little bit about closure. The EP is that like kind of like the the first step that you took with like stepping up in terms of coming out of the deal saying hey this is my closure and this is how I'm going yeah yeah actually that that was like during the process and mm -hmm. uh they just weren't trying to let me release anything so I was wow. just like you know what they can't stop SoundCloud is free that's what I was about to say that's <laughs> why you put it on SoundCloud yeah, exactly <laughs> uh and you know we got a we got a pretty dope uh reaction and just I just didn't want to go completely off the radar for a year you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying um and that was just my way of saying like yo I'm still here mm -hmm. unfortunately it's not how I want to be but I'm still here uh but yeah and it was just throwaway records honestly really I don't think they were because Waterfalls I actually really love that track I love it's Waterfalls such a good, no I it's love, such a good track I love track. Waterfalls I, I love Waterfalls it's like, a, it's like a, a thoughtful I feel like that was a thoughtful record that puts you in a space where it's not like sad but it's encouraging yeah, yeah, yeah. you know what I mean uh, Actually, that was one of my favorite records that I, I had at the time. Really? Yeah. Uh, so I was kind of disappointed I had to put it on SoundCloud only, but I was like, you know what? It is do you think it is. you'll ever put it on an album? Because I know a lot of artists do that, and then they'll turn around and put the their records on albums going Honestly? Forward. I feel I, like you should. I wouldn't, though. You wouldn't? The music now is just like... like Better than what... <sighs> so hold on. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. The music I now like is that EP. ridiculous. Wow. Yeah. Like, I, I don't think I've ever made any better music in my life. Wow. Now that I have the 
the like complete creative control that I want. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Wow. So I'm excited. So what 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 can we expect in terms of genre sounds? Even like I can't even get it like right everything. everything. Oh my god. I could I could start off by saying like uh I just recorded like recently just recorded my first uh Spanish song. Wow. Yeah, a lot of people is don't it know. A feature or is there a feature on it? Uh you know uh You over here trying to cap, man. You gotta drop something. Give us a little something, 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 a little something. Is it, is it a big artist that we can expect from that we that we know is just somebody that's up and coming that we can definitely vibe out with? You probably know him. Okay. God, God willing. Let's just say let's say that God willing. God willing. I think I uh, might But it's it's my first Spanish. A lot of people don't know that I'm Cuban. Oh wow. Yeah, I'm Cuban and Haitian, so Oh yeah. Haitian and Dominican. Oh, that's fine. Uh, yeah, like, come on. I hate, I hate saying stuff because like <laughs> people go, "You're this year." And I, like, no, it's I'm that serious. It's real. Come on. My grandma's name is Julia. That's who I'm named after. That's <laughs> like, fire. Yeah, that's my like, grandma's middle name. No. Yeah. Yo, this is me. We might be related. Hold on. Oh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> come on. <laughs> well, we might have to talk about this over here. <laughs> so that's crazy. See, there's so many Haitians around here. Yeah. <laughs> you just never all know. Over. But um, so now that we're gonna get this album, when are you gonna be dropping this album? Uh, hopefully before the end of the year. Okay. You know, a lot of a lot of people are driving around this time. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of. There know. was a lot of releases like this last couple of weeks, so this is probably not the best time either. Yeah. We talk, I, I was actually watching somebody else talk about how sometimes they feel like other artists are like sabotaging their release, but it's not really that. It's like you pick the dates and yeah. that's it. Yeah. I mean, you know. It's, it's what fourth quarter that's what they right. call it so, we're, we're, we're getting there we're like in third quarter oh right yeah now. I mean this is this is usually around the time where the, right. you know the goats you know yay Drake all right. these people drop it's, it is what it is though and we still waiting on that Donda they said mm-hmm. call it Don't Day <laughs> they, they said it's about to be dropped the 15th I'm excited okay okay that's gonna change a lot of like, would you like to collab with Kanye of course who wouldn't uh, exactly Kanye, t- Kanye's a genius exactly and people still think that he's crazy but I don't think he's that crazy I've never I've never thought he was crazy honestly no, I didn't think so either I just think you know uh, a lot of people are afraid to be themselves. Right. So when somebody's completely themselves and you know they're comfortable in their own skin and they don't care about other people's thoughts or opinions, right. they just that's what you get. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people aren't, aren't used to seeing that. Mm. So what is the first thing they call? They call it crazy or exactly. have any excuse for it. Do you feel like that was a situation that you might have been in where people just wasn't relating as well? Um, I feel like I'm the opposite at, mm-hmm. at the time, especially coming into my career where I was mm-hmm. just you know I listen, listening to a lot of people about oh you should be this way. Right. Uh, you got to per- you were 14. paint the yeah paint the like perfect picture like you can't do certain things and look a certain way just stuff like that where I kind of fell into that uh, that part of society just trying to be perfect all the time mm. and you know now my music that's where I'm like yo you know what I'm not perfect you know I don't right. try to be um, but yeah I mean Kanye is the perfect person for that that's that's kind of where I kind of you know said like yo look at this guy this yeah. is the goat right here and even like people like Cardi B you know right. what I'm saying like they don't care what other right. people think and that's how I feel like that's how we all should be and that's kind of where I'm at where my music where I'm just express, expressing myself in just every way I can absolutely I can, and I can feel it a lot so obviously you've worked with little Yachty and Flip Gennaro yeah. so you want to work with Kanye is there anybody else that you would love to work with that you think would mash well with what you're doing right now um, well honestly vibe-y. I'm kind of at a point where I'm kind of like over like male features, honestly. Mm, okay, yeah, okay. I kind of, I kind of want like females on my records. Drop a female you want on there. Mm, Kaylani. You know what? I have just recently, the last two years, started to appreciate her music a lot. I love her and her writing skills. I love her. I think she's amazing. Too. Yeah, she is. That would be a good feature. Yeah, me and her uh, used to be in a studio. No like, way. Before she blew up, like me and her was because uh, we both were signed to Mike Karen. Wow. Yeah, uh, and we were just in the studio all the time. Like I'd see her. So all have the time. you stayed in touch with her? Or no, uh, not at all. Damn, do you think you can reach out to like, hey girl? <laughs> uh, probably, hopefully, you know, hopefully, you know, hopefully she's on the project. I feel like she would do it because I feel like she's a very humble artist. Yeah, she's and awesome. And I've been seeing her do a lot of features with up and coming artists. Yeah, she, that are she's awesome. Yeah, she is. She's, she's definitely amazing. awesome. Her pen is different. Yeah, sure. her pen is crazy. Because uh, I was like, listen, I was like, damn, okay. Yeah. I wasn't expecting that. It's yeah. more like a diary <laughs> session, but okay. <laughs> uh, Kehlani, Scissor. Oh, that's a good one. Um, that is a good one. Her okay. is amazing. Um, and you're similar to her, by the way, because you, you play multiple instruments, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll get into Something that Something like that. Uh, she's, she's, she's a little better than, yeah, she's, you know? She's like that advancement. <laughs> yeah, she's, she's up there. Uh, let's see. Kehlani says uh, her. Summer Walker is awesome. Okay, okay, okay. Obviously, I want to work with Chris Brown one day. For sure. Um, and he's also a very humble artist. He yeah. works with a lot of upcoming A lot of upcoming artists. Um... Justin Bieber, okay, okay. my favorite artist. Oh, is that really your favorite yes. artist? Really? Yeah. I mean, a lot of times in the past, like if you listen to any, if you like any, watch any of my old interviews, right. I'd just be giving out names. Justin like I Bieber said though, just because you know everybody wants you to say stuff, sound smart. Right. But really, I started making music because of Justin Bieber. 
Wow, I yeah. thought you were just saying that because that that's what I thought. Like, I'm not gonna lie to you. I was like, I want to get some real answers. Yeah, but this is a real answer. That's okay. real answer. Bieber is the reason why I started making music. Wow, yeah. wow. Um, I was just like, yo, if he could do it, I can too. You know, for sure. Which is crazy. I have a crazy story where now you got to share. Uh, Chris Brown was in I forgot what movie was like uh, the Stump the Yard movie yeah Stump the Yard he was in the Stump the Yard I used to be like his like he used to be my, my favorite person of all time right. and in the movie I was just young at the time so I didn't really know anything I thought he actually died <laughs> no no <laughs> and I found out like he like three years later on some crazy I was like yo like that's just <laughs> crazy so that's why that's why a lot of people are, I'm like yo Bieber is my favorite artist he's the reason why I did music because I thought Breezy died like, <laughs> <laughs> he said they killed him for real so I was like, I was balling up at the movie theater. I was like, yeah, what the, like, what's going on right now? <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. I don't, hey, it's it's embarrassing. It is. <laughs> no, no, it's not embarrassing, but it's, it's a little crazy. I'm glad you shut up, but thanks for the info. This is great for the show. I don't mind it at all. Um, <laughs> but since we're on that kind of subject, would you do acting as well? Oh, I would love to. Okay, what, yeah. what type of uh, movie would you want to be in? Um... That's a good question. Mm, see, I got you good. That's I'm about good to get question. you good soon in a, in a couple minutes, though. Maybe, maybe, uh, I don't know. Maybe like some fighting. I just okay. like, I like stuff like that, like you action. Be somebody's ass. Huh? Yeah, yeah, I think I think I'll be fired at that. Vin Diesel, that. Bitch. Okay, got you. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. So this is my favorite part of the show since we got so much from you already, and I wish that we could get a little bit more about your album. Yeah. But can before we get there. What can we expect? What can your fans expect? Um, this new growth from you. Just, just more me. Mm. You know, uh, um, a lot of my old music is just not me. It's not me at all. Mm. You know, and it's just no creative. Uh, nothing talking about my life. I mm. feel like now my music is kind of based on my, you know, relationships with people or mm. just, you know, just things that I've experienced mm. personally. Um, and it's just, you know, it's just to build. You know what I'm saying? And me just experimenting. I think that's the number one thing that my, my fans can expect is just me experiment with different sounds uh, and finding, my, finding myself also. Absolutely. I like it. So how has your family also been supportive through all of this? Because I know they were supportive from the very beginning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and they really pushed you, and I was like very impressed with that because most people are like, oh yeah, no, I had to do this, but your family was really there for you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, I was. I think. I think the tough, the most like hardest part was just getting out of the deal. Mm. Um, a lot of my people's never seen me in such a, mm. you know, down bad like that. Yeah. Um, but this had to make for some great creative. Yeah, I mean, work yeah, of forward. course, yeah. I mean, and I wasn't getting in the studio at all wow. during that time, so it was just like I was just completely away from everything that I love almost. Um, and just straight out of it but you know the right my that's where kind of like my pen game came from just you know mm-hmm. learning from other artists actually d- like diving deep and find, I yeah. felt that on Waterfalls by the way I, I know I keep going back to that I love Waterfalls I, I love that's, that's, that, that's, so that was actually much. one of the records that I recorded during that time so yeah, yeah Waterfalls was a good one that was actually the only one that I had input on dur- like during when I was with the labels mm. um, and just that project alone was just you know stuff that I wrote on but that was like the earlier me like yeah. where I just started writing like where I started like where I was no, that's given a good starting point yeah, yeah. That's a really but that's what I'm saying like now point. now I feel like I'm like now I feel like I'm I'm, I'm getting to that point where I'm like a beast. I'm, yeah I'm a beast with it yeah I can't wait man I cannot wait so um let's get into my favorite part of the show it's called five fast facts and before we get there are you playing any festivals at all or because I know everybody is going hard with the festivals uh maybe I'm not sure Honestly. But we'll come back. We'll circle back to yeah, that. Yeah, we'll circle back to that. All right, perfect. It's called Five Fast Facts. Five you got to spit five gems about yourself for your fans that don't know these things about you already. So you got to give us some good, random-ass facts. They got to be quick, and you get to start now. I'm vegan. Okay. Four years. All right, four years. Uh, we got it. That's tough. Uh, I like country music. Okay, boom. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Might um, be a Haitian thing. <laughs> <laughs> five fast facts. Yeah. What is five fast We're up facts? To three, um I don't wear anything outside of Jordan. Okay. Does that count? That's a good one. Okay. I peeped a little bit. Um what we got for four. I'm allergic to oranges. Wow, that sucks. I'm sorry. Um and I don't know. What is it? the last one, the last one. Give us something juicy. Something juicy? I don't know. I'm Do not you gonna have a girlfriend? No. Uh, no girlfriend. He's single. He's single. Uh, oh, he's single. Oh, hold on. He's not. Hold on. Huh? That was a, uh, huh? Wait, hold on a second. <laughs> Slow down. Um, yeah, yeah, we, we single. Yeah, we single. We single. Um, okay, there we go. So, can they slide in your DMs? Of course. Oh, and he answers. This Send is them. a good one. 
Uh oh. The fifth fact. Let's see. Um, I don't know. I, I'm not. I guess I'm not a pretty interesting person. Uh, <laughs> no, you're pretty interesting. Definitely interesting. I mean, I, I don't know if people know I play the guitar. I guess can I say okay. that? You can say that. Well, you know I play the guitar. Yeah, I do. So I guess I guess that's not fair, but. But hey, I, I, I'm a researcher. <laughs> I think I think the biggest one was that I was vegan. Okay, a lot vegan. of people know that. All right, we 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 got good. I feel like that was six good ones. Yeah, I feel like that was, me six. That was pretty lame. Guitar but. and hey, it wasn't lame. I think by the time we come back to this and say when you drop your album, I you come back. Facts. Wow. Yeah, I always get everybody with this one. Everybody goes what. <laughs> Cause you're like yo, like now I got you know you know I used to really try to like stuff like that yeah yeah of course you gotta stay ready though yeah yeah you gotta get ready that's that's I like that stay <laughs> ready so you don't gotta get ready well Giovanni thank you so much for dropping by today on the thank show thank you for having me of course anytime I love this I can't wait for the album because you got me excited thank you uh, I really might be I might give you a simple before we leave here oh hey I think that's an exclusive that you guys cannot be a part of sorry <laughs> <laughs> well I'm Julia Vance this is Giovanni thank you so much for watching and listening thank you for having me again. Yeah.